Hey what is going on guys, Tanjuri here, today I'm going to show you on how to Henkaku your PlayStation Vita. This is not a permanent Henkaku, you will need to reactivate the Henkaku every time you restart your Vita if you follow my steps. Disclaimer, this is only for education purpose only, so do it on your own risk. This might affect the system of the Vita. So without any further ado, you will be needing a PlayStation Vita running the latest version which will be 3.73. If you have an older version, you can try to update to the latest version and we will proceed the next step. First, it's best to advise that to keep the Vita system as clean as possible. So what I will be doing here is to format everything, reset everything into its default state in order to keep the system fresh. After we finish resetting our Vita, the first thing we're gonna do is to connect to a Wi-Fi and sign in to our PSN account. You can use a dummy account to log in if you are afraid of ban. Once it is done, we head to our computer to download two softwares. The first one is QCMA and the second one will be the final HN code. For me, I will create a folder on my desktop so that it's easier for us to navigate. So I'll be naming the folder Play as Vita Mod and I will extract the final HE onto the folder created. Once everything is done, we can just install QCMA for the first time and launch it after we install it. After we successfully open the QCMA, we'll be seeing there's a QCMA logo on our bottom right desktop. This means QCMA is running normally. Now we can plug in our Vita with a USB cable to our PC once QCMA is running at the background. Once plugging, our PC will be receiving a notification similar to my screen. Next step, open up Final HD software and click Yes to close QCMA running on the background. After that, we will be seeing the blue word stating waiting for connection to PlayStation Vita. So what we're gonna do is to launch Content Manager on our Vita. Once the software detected the Vita, we can see our Vita information here. So what we're gonna do, click on Trim and click on Let's Go. From here on, we can just take a break and let the software do its job. Once it is done, on the Vita, tap on PS Vita system and hit to applications. And once again, click on PS Vita and we're noticing a HN call here. Just copy it and click on OK and just wait for the application to copy to our Vita. After finish copying, we can straight away exit the app from here. Scroll down, we'll be seeing the HN core jumping up and down. From now on, we can just unplug the Vita from our PC and we just proceed to the app itself. After we reach this place, we'll be selecting Install Henkaku. That's the first thing we're gonna do here. Lastly, we're gonna be downloading the Vita shell. Once everything is done here, we can exit the app itself and go to settings. We'll be seeing Henkaku settings on the second option. Click on it and enable unsafe homebrew. Lastly, head to spoof version here and we're gonna change it to 3.73. And that's basically it. Congratulations, we successfully Henkaku the 3.73 PlayStation Vita. Keep in mind that this is not a permanent Henkaku. The Henkaku will be gone as soon as we restart our PlayStation Vita. 
So once you restart the Vita, you need to go to the HN Core and install Hengaku once again. So it's actually pretty easy to Hengaku your device. So that's basically it. Alright guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe for more. Comment down below if you have any questions. And I will see you guys in the next one.